let me tell you briefly about uh, progress and uh, achievements made by my departments to begin with uh, i will start with uh, food and civil supply uh, there is a scheme called one nation one ration card this is a centrally sponsored scheme uh, under the flagship of central government this scheme has been launched in the month of august 2020 in which the migrant workers under nfsa category can avail the facility of purchase of food grains at subsidized rates from any sales centers of ut ladakh with dedicated network connectivity to register complaint we are having uh, operationalized toll free number that is 1445 and same is installed in the office of director food and civil supply ut ladakh so far 292 beneficiaries from various states have availed this benefit under one nation one ration card under this scheme if you see if person coming from bihar he can avail the ration here he can fully take the ration here or he can partly take and his family member can avail remaining portion of ration from respective states so this is very good uh, scheme under which uh, people avails benefit and ration uh, the, de de the department has carried out vigorous exercise for aadhar seeding and deduplication of ration cards and fake souls till date 100% of aadhar of ration card and 90.55% of aadhar beneficiaries have been seeded 1483 ration cards were cancelled and 58328 bogus souls have been deleted from ration card this is ongoing process a separate ladakh aepds portal have been created for ut ladakh in which the distribution data of food grains through online and partial offline has been reflected on the said portal as per the scheme of ministry of consumer affairs food and public distribution department government of india the sugar is provided to antodaya anna yojana family of ut ladakh since from the year 2020 now the aay families are provided with 1 kg of sugar per family per month at a subsidized rate of rupees 13.50 per kg the ut administration has included the aay families under the ambit of ladakh food security scheme for providing of additional food grains subject to the ceiling of 50 kg per family but this is applicable only to rice in order to strengthen the institution of consumer rights and initiate action against the defaulter the department has launched the project for construction of office accommodation for district disputes redressal commission in leh and kargil and same is almost completed in both both the districts beside these two districts commissions we also have state commission so there will be three commission one will be state commission and two will be uh, district two district commission the ut administration has also advertised various position for said commission so there will be president for each commission and there will be members also for district commission there will be two each members and for state commission there will be uh, four members in order to beef up the food grain storage capacity the department has launched the project for construction of 500 mts capacity stores in five blocks each in leh and kargil district of ut ladakh and almost five stores stand completed on account of bad condition of granary stores sales centers in leh and kargil district of ut ladakh the ut administration has earmarked 1.40 crores for such renovation and almost 20 stores have been renovated in leh and kargil district through rural development department ut ladakh so we are having all together 403 uh, fps that is 190 in kargil and uh, 213 in leh the ut administration has procured 82 kerosene oil storage tanks of 5 kl and 10 kl capacity for far flung remote areas of leh and kargil district for providing those step kerosene oil to the beneficiaries after sanction accorded by ut ladakh the department has purchased 1407 load carrier 4207 load carrier one truck and two tankers for this dispatch of food grains and kerosene oil to various sales centers of both districts which is now made operational ut administration has implemented 
free of cost food grains to all NFSCRI beneficiaries that is AOI household and priority household person under the National Food Security Act for the year for one year with effect from 1st January to 2023. This we have already uh, operation means we already implemented this and we already started giving free of cost ration to the beneficiaries. In order to streamline and to have better facility to the people, the department is in the process of replacing EPOS machines with high-tech EPOS machine to make distribution of food grains at sales centers very easy and convenient. Earlier, we used to use EPOS machine with a biometric, uh, which is uh, used with fingers, and now we are taking a new EPOS machine, which is high-tech, and uh, which will scan through uh, iris. So this will be work very faster and uh, it will be very convenient to the people. It has observed that there are number of cases of anemia and various nutritional deficiency among children and women in Ladakh. So it has been decided by the UT administration to provide the people with fortified food through staple foods such as wheat, rice, etc. The department is in the process of procuring fortification equipment which will be provided to the private floor meals free of cost. And in turn, these people will give the fortified, uh, fortified rice wheat to each and every individual of uh, Ladakh. So this will be very he helpful to the people and this will uh, help uh, to resolve the cases of anemia and uh, nutrition, nutritional deficiencies. We are also in the process of uh, introduction of a smart card which will uh, replace uh, traditional uh, ration cards. And we are also wants to introduce SMS alert system that is availability of ration cards. So each individual uh, will get the uh, SMS message if the ration, car, ration is available in FPS. And then we are also installing GPS to track real time basis the load carriers carrying food grains at various uh, FPS. So this is what uh, for uh, food and civil supply. Um, last week, um, I have joined as a chief electoral officer. I have been appointed as chief electoral officer and uh, I have taken over the charge of uh, chief electoral officers. In this regard, uh, we have completed uh, two warehouse. One is in uh, Leh and uh, Kargil, that is for storage of uh, VB pad and um, EVM machines. So, as far as legal metrology is concerned, uh, I have only data um, regarding the fees which we have con uh, collected from the people as a fine from uh, shop owners and all. Now we will do it immediately because uh, for that uh, we will have to start means high tech uh, unless this EPOS machine comes we will not able to implement that. So we are waiting for, once this is implemented EPOS machines with ID scanner we will immediately go for uh, this M SMS alert. So that will be helpful to the people. फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट हाँ फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट ऑलरेडी इम्प्लीमेंट किया है हमने पूरे लद्दाख के लिए सो नाउ पीपल कैन अवेल दैट फैसिलिटी सो इट विल बी फॉर वन ईयर टिल डिसम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री सो एक साल के लिए हम फ्री रेशन कार्ड रेशन देंगे टू ऑल ए वाई एंड पी एच एस कैटेगरीज करेक्ट